Hi guys, uh, this is uh, my second day's effort on this uh, low level 80 meter loop uh, that I'm putting up and um, this is my start point so this this little mast here uh, there is a previous video and I'll put a link in the comments uh, box or description box um, it's always worth reading that on my uh, um, videos because anything that I forget to say whilst making the video I uh, tend to put in that comments box anyway as I say this is my start point and um, uh, from uh, this wire this wire I'm uh, heading uh, to the west sorry to the east over there this is the west end the sun's going down in the west um, the uh, the east end over there and um, you remember what I said about wanting to keep clear of these guy wires I've got these two guys this one and this one and they of course are for the uh, the mast for the inverted V and uh, if I drop the mast I want to keep it completely independent of the loop but uh, it's a little unfortunate because it, um, it it robs me of some useful space um, uh, I, I'm, I would have liked to have uh, brought the antenna around into this part of the field um, but I don't want to have to get mixed up um, with uh, both antennas uh, as it were or having to take one down because I want to do something with the other um, okay now this is my second fixing and I started the day with all sorts of good intentions and uh, I don't know if it's focusing on that um, I got a bunch of these uh, egg insulators and I thought oh I'll use those and I'll I'll let the wire slide through the hole uh, but of course I forgot to slide them onto the wire first of all anyway we've come from down there that's a start uh, we've come over to this pole and um, that is 39 feet then I'm going over to a midway point or something like a midway point along here so this is running uh, south going north and uh, again I've just planted this uh, aluminium pole in between the bushes and tied it back with some uh, it's actually wa washing line um, this stuff here um, it's got a, a steel core or a stainless steel core um, I could go to the trouble of um, uh, a nice little boat out there of um, sort of cementing the poles in and all the rest of it but um, I, I don't know how long I could keep it up there this is um, a holly bush I don't know if I mentioned this before but look there's no no prickles on this side but round the other side it's um, uh, it's proper prickly this um, this is the north side but that other side where the prickles are missing um, is it gets the full blast of the southwesterly wind uh, this uh, is the um, uh, what's this the uh, north east corner and um, this uh, to the <laughs> can't see from here to the other end this this run is 69 foot so the first cable uh, run to the first pole was uh, 39 foot then to this one is 69 and then I go down to uh, a little one over there I uh, hope you're getting that um, little pole there um, that's 21 foot from from here 
down to there. Sorry, I'm thrashing about, probably making you sick. And um, I've carved some steps here, but it's uh, it's a bit tricky. Yeah, so this is my south uh, uh, west. There's a, a little, uh, um, what do you call these guys, paraglider. Little paraglider there. You'll be having a nice day. Um, yeah, so again up there I've just put a, a, a nice uh, shiny uh, stainless steel shackle uh, just for the cable to slip around and uh, a little cleat uh, there to put it up with and again I've got the um, uh, the guy wires um, tied in around these bushes it's all a bit makeshift um, but it all takes a bit longer than I anticipated um, I say those five minute jobs that take me all day um, don't know if you can see here um, maybe not uh, the wire up above now center of the screen I wanted to keep that uh, independent of this other area so this uh, if I can find it this first pole here that's the end of my 80 meter dipole that obviously is the main mast and then this this blue wire is the one going to where we started from uh, and so it's just keeping the two independent so as I don't get tangled up if I take one of them down Okay, so well, I may fix this uh, or support this wire from uh, from this fixed uh, pole at this end. But at the moment, um, the loop is only 241 foot long, um, so it's not uh, it's not as big a loop as I want. So I'll have a look tomorrow and see. Um, well, I see. Um, I might cut the wire um, at, a, at, I'll say, a sensible length, and um, I may just coil it up. May just sort of uh, wrap it around a bit of plastic tubing and uh, have it like a bit of end loading, uh, as it were. I don't know because remember, this I want mainly for reception, uh, not for transmission particularly um be nice if it worked well on transmission but i think unless i make it higher um it'll only be i say <laughs> good in some parts and not so good in others okay i think that about wraps it up for today uh if i remember i'll try and put a link in the description box to the other videos and um Hopefully, I'll be able to get on it within the next couple of days and uh, just just finish it off and uh, let you have some uh, uh, reports on signals. Um, again, uh, apologies for the unedited video, so you get me uh, stutters and all. Um, but until I can sort something out with the software, um, it's so miserable having to uh, work with the Adobe software, and there, which used to let me um, upload direct to YouTube, but of course they stopped us from doing that. So now I have to make the video, uh, edit it in Adobe, um, then uh, pass it through a program called Handbrake to convert it into something that will then upload uh, to uh, YouTube um, whereas doing it on this little camera 
uh, I can just press the button and send it to YouTube but uh, I appreciate it's not very slick okay guys uh, thanks for the lovely comments again um, hope everybody's well and getting through this miserable uh, COVID uh, issue and um, catch you later bye bye